Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Uh, this video is just to show you uh, the newest updates we've been working on for the key points instances. I think you'll really like these updates uh, because it addresses all the things we've been talking on the most recent calls. So let me just show you and, and you can share with us your thoughts, okay? Uh, so the first thing is that uh, we now support coloring templates. So you can see now that all, all of the uh, edges and the nodes are on different colors. And now we have this coloring tool and these color selectors so that you can uh, select whatever color you want. And then just activate this uh, coloring tool and I can you can just click this node and it will turn into the color you want. So uh, this is the first thing we've implemented. Uh, this reflects uh, exactly the same as in the annotation UI. So when you draw a new instance template, uh, you will see all these colors uh, from the get-go. So the other thing is now you can see this one-click and guided mode. So uh, we are now allowing uh, two ways of drawing the instance template. Uh, the first one is with one click, which is the usual uh, way we've seen of like clicking once and then like uh, setting the scale and then clicking again to set the points on that scale. But now we have this guided mode. And here, if we click this, uh, we can actually set the ordering of the nodes. So for example, here it's, uh, it's going to draw first the head, the right ear, left ear, and so on. And we can just drag and drop if we want to change this order uh, for some reason into something that's more comfortable for the annotators. So how does this guided work, uh, guided mode work? Let me just go to the annotation tool and show you. So we have this airplane uh, image, right? So let's just select this airplane uh, instance. And you see here we are on guided mode, right? So uh, now it's telling me to draw the head of the plane. So I can just click and it will draw the, the button, the, the, the node. Uh, and I can just continue uh, based on what the node name is. So now it's the center, uh, left back, left wing, right back, and right wing, right? And now we have the, the instance template ready to go with the points precisely where the annotator uh, tells the interface where they should be right so this reduces a lot the um, editing of the nodes the rescaling of the of the entire instance and it's pretty easy to uh, to draw overall right and if you want to go back to the one click mode you can just click here and you'll have like the usual uh, drawing of the scaling thing and you can always uh, edit the nodes if you want and move them around just as we've seen on previous calls right so uh, I can try it again so, so you can see this one more time. So I'm going to select edit mode. I'm going to start drawing and here's the head at the center, uh, left back, let's say it's here, the left wing it's here, the right back it's here and the right wing is here. So we have this, the instance here ready to go. So the, the other thing we already have, it's also the panning with the mouse wheel. So now if we click with the mouse wheel, we can just pan around. And then if we lift up the mouse wheel button, uh, it, stop, it stops panning. And yeah, I think that's uh, like the most important things uh, we've improved upon the interface. Uh, mostly I wanted to show you that the coloring is now like more evident and also the guided mode drawing. So. Let us know what you think about this. Uh, I hope this is really helpful for you guys. And I hope you have a really great week and start of your day. Okay, take care. Bye.